Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. If you're new here, howdy, welcome. And if you're returning back, well, welcome on back. You already know what the deal is. In today's dark video, we're going to be discussing an Instagram page named Candy underscore underscore teens. And their content consisted of children and tweens doing suggestive dances. But I strongly believe that the children did not know what they were doing. Like, they're kids, for God's sake. These are little babies. They have no idea what's going on. So it's safe to say that that candy underscore underscore teens page was deleted and or taken down. Well, I guess that's the same thing. But that led them to only make another account with their following growing again and they made the same content as they did on the previous page and like i said this got shut down as well and every single follower on that new account were men let's say very predatory men because we don't want to group all men together i'm not that type of girl we're not gonna say that all men are like that we're gonna say very predatory men Jade Dot Here is a very beautiful person, not just on the outside, but also what she sheds light on on her platform. Jade does a wonderful job on showing the darkness of social medias and bringing awareness to child exploitation and any of the other online predators that you can find basically anywhere. So the TikToker showed a video of how she was recommended these child pages on her For You page. And before you even have to ask, yes, these pages are targeted to predators. Look at that. I went to find the accounts and I don't even have to because this is my entire explore page since yesterday. Really pushing this, aren't we, Instagram? First up, we have the real Sammy Dye Pie who says she's so hot. Damn, how though, kid? aren't supposed to be this good looking flame emoji flame emoji this is the video this is a fully grown adult man and in his bio it says he has 18 million followers on a child's gaming so app. A lot of this is the gaming app it's for toddlers like the one in that video if you aren't already could you please look at the screen i've showcased all of these weird comments and disgusting comments that these men have left up underneath these children's videos this is very scary how this is just okay like flying under the radar like not being discussed at all caught at all nobody it's just out in the open mom dot uncharted also does a really good cover of this topic as well but no matter how much jade and mom uncharted talk about this and get this oh, all the likes and stuff that they get and the attention that they bring to these predators families and all of this stuff none of this is still being talked about it's not a thing and it's very frustrating because these are kids jade made a very fair scary point that these mothers have basically made a similarity to OnlyFans, but for their kids. Where you're paying to subscribe to these children and you receive exclusive content. And before you even have to ask me, the exclusive content is exactly what you think it is. Like, honestly, they are selling their daughters online. At first, I was confused as to why Jade was blocking out her, you know, username. Because I would love nothing more for her to be shamed and for her to be told about herself. But leaving that username up would just be advertisement from a different platform for these creepy old people to find her daughter and pay for this outrageous subscription. Just plain disgusting access to this child it's like the files and the predators don't even have to work hard to get this information anymore this type of content anymore and i'm not saying that it's good for them to have to work hard to try to find it at least it's not like in your face i'm right here it's like literally right here 
on social media apps that your teen is using, social media apps that your child is using. And it really, really, really gets to me because she knows who's paying for this stuff. The mother knows her targeted audience. Otherwise, why is she selling the content? Why is she selling asking for money for subscribers when they she knows that they will pay for it with exclusive content? And it really crushes me because this little girl has no utterly idea of what's going on. Like she has no understanding of how the internet works. She has no understanding what her mother is doing. And she has no understanding of what her videos are meant for. I feel like I, I feel in my soul so, so heavily, so passionately that when these children grow up, there's going to be so many cases where these children are growing up to sue their degenerate parents and their childhood has been ripped up from under them. The comments that these little girls get on their videos, 60 year old men, 25 year old men, 21 year old men, however old you are, it is not okay. And I know that you know it's not okay. Grown men making horrible comments. And you're telling me that that's not SA at all? That's not SA? And the mothers who are openly regulating these platforms so you can exploit your child? for money that's the same as being a in my opinion you're paying out your child but we are on a uproar of things that make you fat and a woman putting on mascara and then finishing it with false eyelashes like uh i don't know everybody else in the world but this isn't an uproar. Nobody cares about this. Nobody's talking about this. But we're upset because she does makeup like almost all of the women in the world. But to take a step back and to look at everything, you know, as one. I hope that this is not a product of how the mother was brought up and treated when she was a child. But even if that is so, it's your job to see the wrong and pass it on to a new life, fresh eyes, your child. You knew how bad that felt as a child. If it did happen to her, you know how uncomfortable that made you feel, how lonely, how sad, or whatever emotions that came about with it, you knew how that made you feel. And if you are one of those mothers who are okay with doing that to your child, then I, I have nothing for you. I hate you you're disgusting and you should know that you're disgusting and you should be put in jail for SA. If you don't grow up, you rot and that's the truth. Anyways guys, that's the end of this horrific thing that's sadly going around. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video down in the comments below. Never forget who loves you the most and until next time guys, love you. Bye.